What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Today we're going to take a look at some tetra eggs hatching. Don't go anywhere. So today we're going to observe the development in the hatching of some nano blue tetra eggs. Uh, the nano blue tetra known as the Tetracharax tambopotensis is from southern Peru from the Madre de Dios river basin. You can see that the cytoplasma is starting to congregate on one side of the ovum. Uh, this is the, the beginnings of a zygote. So as that cytoplasma starts to develop on that one side of the ovum, uh, it starts to become what is known as a blasto disc. Now this blasto disc uh, is, is really just one cell which starts to uh, divide into two cells. You can see that that blasto disc has developed into two cells. Now these two cells will divide into four cells within minutes. Now within the first two hours, this cell division really starts to kick up, uh, going from two cells to four, uh, and then on to eight, and so on. It's really awesome to see these cells dividing right in front of your eye. It starts out pretty slow from 2, 4, uh, 8, 16, and then it really starts to pick up in speed. Now eventually there will be so many cells you really can't decipher one from the other. Uh, and up until about this point, uh, we're looking at about 512 uh, cells or so. Uh, each one of these cells has had a, uh, a, a cytoplasmic connection uh, with the ovum up until this point. Now as cell division continues, uh, it gets a little wild and you get way beyond 512 cells. But you can see that the uh, zygote is kind of divided into two different sections. You have the animal pole and you have the vegetal pole. And now the uh, vegetal pole is pretty much the yolk and the ovum. Uh, and as we go along here, these cells start to actually create more of a uh, plastoderm with an outer protective layer and it slowly engulfs the whole ovum. So it was getting late and I had to get some rest for work the next day. So we have to skip forward to about eight hours later and you can see that a lot more uh, development has occurred. Uh, we've gotten to the point where you can kind of uh, determine uh, more of an embryo. You have the hypoplast, which is the, uh, the head end of the embryo and you have the epiplast which is more of the tail end of the embryo. You can see that some of the organs are starting to be developed such as the uh, embryonic shield over the head as well as some of the neurological organs like the eyes and the ears. Now I also had to go to work all day, so for about 10 hours I was gone. Uh, this, so we have to skip forward another 10 hours to uh, these images here, and you can see that these fry are just minutes or hours away from hatching. Uh, they're definitely moving around a lot more. You can definitely see that the head and the eyes are starting to develop as well as a little bit more of a defined tail. There is definitely a large yolk sac visible. Now the other little organisms uh, running around the eggs are paramecium that are in the water column that are just uh, swimming around the outside of the egg, really not causing them any harm.
Now you've noticed that the membrane of this egg is starting to get a little bit weaker. It's starting to show some wrinkles in it, wear and tear, and uh, it's a little bit more misshapen. So within the time it took me to go to the kitchen and get myself something to drink and come back, these eggs had hatched. This was really cool. Uh, you can see that this one fry is still within the membrane of the egg and is just hanging out and taking its time. Uh, you can definitely see the yolk sac, the tail, uh, in the, the head, as well as the eye. The eye is not completely developed or very dark yet. So there's the one fry that's still hanging out in the membrane, chilling out, and then I had to go looking around the petri dish for the other fry. Now the other fry was uh, floating at the surface with its tail facing down, so it was looking straight up at me into the microscope, which was really crazy. So you can see his two eyes that are still kind of developing, very light colored eyes at this point and um, just faintly can make out a mouth there. Now these fry are going to be living off of their yolk sac for about the first couple of days and then they will slowly start taking on some infusorium and then within about four days, maybe five days, uh, these fry will be a fully free swimming fry and the eyes will be developed much more by then and uh, they will be actually able to take live baby brine shrimp within about a week It was really interesting to see that the eyes of these fry are not fully developed when they hatch and that it just takes a little bit more time, uh, about a day or so before you can actually see a, a, a fully like black eye on, the, on this fry. It's really cool to see the heart of this fry Beating and to see the uh, the plasma and the fluids flowing throughout uh, its organs and whatnot. I have to say I'm really grateful and honored to have these fish in my possession and to be able to be breeding them right now and it's really awesome that I can share it with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it thank you to all my subscribers out there to all of my patrons and everyone out there that supports me and uh, remember guys keep your tanks clean your fish fed and have fun